briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1957, the United States Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit heard the case Ventimiglia v. United States, which revolved around the question of whether a person must intend to violate the law in order to be charged with a crime. The case in question involved Weathermastic, Inc., a non-union contractor that needed working cards for its employees to work on a job in Alexandria, where Stone and Webster, a unionized company, was the general contractor. To obtain the working cards, defendants paid Joseph Martin, a union business agent, $100 a month. However, the defense argued that paying a union representative who wasn't actually representing the workers was not a violation of the Taft-Hartley Act. The defendants were acquitted of the substantive offenses but convicted of conspiracy. They appealed the decision, leading to the Ventimiglia v. United States case. The court ultimately overturned the conviction, citing the Pearlstein case, which only allowed for conspiracy convictions if they began before and continued after legal proceedings. The Hood case, which involved a broad substantive offense without a plan for a shadowy counterpart, as well as legal analyses from People v. Jaffe and various legal journals, supported the court's decision in reversing the conviction. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.